In this lesson, we are going to explore the use of Morpha in combination with Volume Select to create interesting and parametrically gradated forms which will take a long time if not impossible to create using other methods. So inside 3D Studio Max, we will go to Create, Geometry and create a plane first. We will create a plane and then change the size of the plane to 1000 by 1000 units and the length segments we will change them to 10 by 10. And after that we will change the coordinates to 0, 0, 0 to properly align the geometry and to center it to the scene. Next, we will add an editable poly command and expand it. And we will choose the polygonal sub-selection mode and we will select all the polygons. Thereafter, we will click on this location here to expand and to look for the polygon modeling and to click on generate topology. This will allow us to change the quads to a skin here. Notice after we click on skin, the geometry no longer looks very squarish anymore, very grid-like or checkered. It looks like a skin pattern. Next, we will then add another editable poly stack command on top of it and expand and go into the polygon sub-selection mode again and we will select all the polygons. From there, under the edit poly mode, we will check the animate option and under the edit polygons header, we will click on insert and change it to by polygon and set the value to 3 and click on the tick. You will now notice inward offsets have been created already for all the geometries. Next, we are going to add the delete mesh modifier to the stack and you will notice all the selected geometries will be deleted. Next, we will add the morpher command stack and under the channel list header, we click on the first empty slot and then we move down to under the channel parameters, we are going to click on capture current state. We will then rename it as first state and then accept. Next, we will move back down to the edit poly command and click on polygon sub selection mode. And then under that one, under the edit poly mode, we will click on settings and change the setting to 30 and click on the tick to finalize it. In the 3D viewport, we will click on F3 and F4 to change it into a shaded with edge mode so that we can see the difference more easily. Next, we are going to go back to the Morpher command and scroll down to the channel list to click on the next empty slot in order to create the second state. Again, we will click on capture current state and we will rename them as second state and accept. You may want to pay attention, after it has been created, there is a spinner by the side of each state that can be changed from 0 to 100. We are going to set them all to 0 for now. Next, we are going to go to the create tab again to create a sphere. And uh, we will change the size of the sphere radius to about 100 and we are going to move the sphere to the lower right hand corner of the plane geometry and we're going to raise the position of the sphere's z axis to about 150 units the purpose of creating the sphere is for it to act as the volume selector later on next we are going to add the volume select command and under the parameters header, stack selection level, we are going to change it to vertex mode. Under select by volume, 
we are going to change it to mesh object we are going to click on the non box in order to be able to select the sphere next we will scroll down and under the soft selection header we will click on use soft selection and then we would under the fall off portion drag the spinner up notice when we drag the spinner up far enough you will find that there is a gradient color of orange to green to blue that begins to expand as the value of the fall off increases next we would drag the volume select command down below the morpher and we will try to move the sphere a little bit but there will be no effect remember the spinners besides the first state and the second state were initially set to zero so right now let's change it to 100 for both the states and you will find that once that is set to 100 when we move the sphere the effects would appear okay and once we see the effects so the morpher and the volume select commands are in order what we can do next would be to add a shell command to it to give the plane some thickness in this case we will key we will key in the thickness to be 20 and now notice when we move the sphere around the plane geometry the effect of the volume select will be very very obvious and it shows a good degree of depth as well to further experiment we can go back to the volume select under soft selections fall off portion we can drag the spinner to change how much the soft selection would affect the geometry around the sphere to have better control of the effect itself